drop a dope beat. Now pump up the volume. It's time for some fire on the dance floor. Okay, let's do it. It doesn't matter if that floor is made of gritty concrete or polished plexiglass. If the dance is fresh and freestyle or clean and choreographed. From Paris to Las Vegas, Luzon to Lucerne. There's a world of variety when it comes to the street dance universe. I appreciate people that can appreciate dancing and knowing the power of it. Hi, I'm MC Redshop. Over the next half hour, I'm gonna take you from the streets to the stage. You'll dive into hip hop culture, find out exactly how and when street dancing was born, and learn about the many different dance styles that have evolved from its humble beginnings. Along the way, you'll meet some dance legends. We're also gonna get down with amazing talent at the world's biggest competitions. When you're performing for a crowd, you have to entertain them, you have to move the crowd. At that point, you just dance because you love to. There's no expectations. I just want to exchange. Like, I don't care about winning or losing. Finally, we'll see just where the road is headed for the future. And we're going to help you to get to know the world of street dance. In order to move forward, first, we have to take a couple of steps back into the past. To understand street dance, first you need to understand hip hop culture and its four elements, DJing, MCing, graffiti, and breaking. Breaking got its start in New York in the 70s. It's one of the oldest forms of street dancing, and if you want to deep dive into the history of that art form, check out the awesome ABC of breaking change the music. In this episode, we're concentrating on other street dance styles that were developed either alongside or independently of breaking. Those dances are popping, locking, house, and hip hop. Hip hop dance is also known as hip hop freestyle, freestyle, hip hop new style, or just new style. It was based on the social party dances that originated in the 70s and 80s. In the 90s, it blew up and had a major impact on pop culture thanks to pioneers like Elite Force Crew, also known as Mop Top from New York. Influential hip hop dancers include the likes of New Yorker Henry Link, who appeared in videos for Michael Jackson. While technically two funk styles, popping and locking, often go hand in hand. Locking involves fast movements, sharp pauses, and exaggerated gestures. Popping, on the other hand, is a bouncy style that requires major use of counter tempo. Though many argue that people were already popping in the California Bay Area in the 1960s, most agree that it was Sam Solomon of Fresno, California, who perfected it. In 1976, Boogaloo Sam started the legendary dance crew called the Electric Boogaloos, including his brother Poppin' Pete and his cousin Skeeter Rabbit. Popping is contracting the muscles doing it rhythmatic to the beat. Popping is not the umbrella term for all styles. And people just misunderstand that because the name, when you do a battle, or they say popping and everybody throw everything in there. Other popping legends of note are Boogaloo Shrimp, Adolfo Shabadu Quinones, Mr. Wiggles, Sugar Pop, and Poppin' Taco. Locking predates all the other street dances and began before the culture of hip hop existed. It was created when Don Campbell Campbell was trying to do a dance called the Robot Shuffle. He started locking his joints in place, causing dancers around him to shout in amazement, do that lock, Campbell, do that lock. The Campbell Lock was born. Campbell went on to co-create influential groups, the Campbell Lock dancers and the lockers with other street dance pioneers like Tony Basil and Bill Slim the Robot Williams. House dance is a freestyle street dance and salsa dance that has roots in the underground house music scene of Chicago and New York. 
It is typically danced to loud and bass heavy electronic music provided by DJs and nightclubs or at raves. The godfather of house is DJ Frankie Knuckles, the resident DJ of famous Chicago club The Warehouse in the late 70s and early 80s. These pioneers have inspired generations of dancers to build on the foundations they laid in order to help take these dancers to brave new heights. Let's take it to another level, y'all. No doubt. But in order to do so, first we need to keep a run and forward into more detail about how to do these dances. Here to tell you are some of the elite. In order to achieve street dance greatness, you have to master the styles of dance. Certain dancers specialize in popping. Really straight, like a robot, but a funky robot. By angles and breaking the angles, right? Some of the best poppers in the world include Pop and C from Switzerland, Desi, a US-based dancer from South Korea, and French popper Day Day. Very important to relax, contract, relax, contract in popping. Boom, ta, boom, ta. Relax the leg. Okay, I put weight on it. I contract. Boom. You see, so the muscles do the movement. Now it's time to do it with the music. <laughs> Thanks, Day Day. Other pro dancers have really locked it in when it comes to locking, like Francis Funky J. Keep cracking your hips, having fun, and you will be super funky, like boom. Once you perfect the basics, you might even be able to invent your own moves, like American locking legend Tony Gogo. Let's do it. Why I made this move? Come on. When you're sitting around in a party or in a club, everybody's still doing the same old moves all the time and you want to do something different and you want to get away real quick, look at the timing of it all. That's why I came up with the keeper running to get you out of there quick, get you across the floor quicker, do some keeper runners and hit a split, do some keeper runners, hit a knee drop. Oh, come on, you got something going on there. Now that we have you locking too, why not take a shot at hip hop? Some of the best include Diablo from France and Germany based Majid. If you want to learn a move, my man Link can get you started with the WAP. Breaking the WAP and whopping it, whopping it, whopping it back. The WAP is not about the bounce. The WAP is more about the head. Your head must swing back and forth like this. You're only having more fun when you add in the hands to it. Creativity is key if you want to master dope hip hop moves. But what about house? It's about your feeling, about what you want to do. Make sure you place your foot correctly and have fun with it. Open, open, close, close. A member of Francis Wanted Posse, Pella, is a big name in the house scene. If you have the right feel for this kind of beat, you might be able to start skating like Which Way Shaw. Skating and sliding, skating and sliding. You're gonna feel like you're Dorothy Hammond out there. Slide forward, your right, slide forward, your left, slide forward, your right, slide forward. Now we change to the back. Slide around in the back. Slide around in the back. Now we do the uh, extension out. Of course, we're flexing. I'm showing you slowly, fast. 
Now let's put them all together into wine, into moving these things. Wow, it was exciting for me. I hope you had an enjoying time. <laughs> we sure did, Shaw. Now just imagine how much fun all of these pro dancers have when they are putting their street dance skills to the test at some of the biggest dance competitions in the world. If you got amazing street dance skills, you can show them off at one of many major competitions that take place around the world every year. One of the OG competitions is the Notorious IBE, an international street dance festival in the Netherlands. Since 1998, this festival has offered 50 to 60 programs varying from music performances, workshops, talk shows, film, photography, art dance shows, and of course, dance battles. We're going to dance today. Summer Dance Forever is another important international festival. Dancers from all around the world gather in Amsterdam each year in August for seven days of seriously soulful street vibes. Meanwhile, in South Korea, dancers from around the world come to the battle in multiple street dance genres at BBIC. French for Just Standing, Just Debout is an annual international dance competition founded in 2001 by Bruce Ikanji in France. Each year, close to 5,000 dancers take part in a global tour. Then, 200 active dancers show what they've got at the final in Paris in front of 16,000 spectators. Just Debout is much more than a battle. It's a network of like-minded artists showcasing their craft, and there's even Just Debout Dance School. This school has helped to elevate an already vibrant dance community in France. Some of the world's best street dancers are French, including the world-famous Le Twins. One Paris dancer making a big name for himself is Solomon, bringing his own fresh style to the world of hip-hop. On va dire le Salomon style dans le sens où c'est un mélange de plusieurs danses, euh, bien sûr de ma personnalité, et j'aime bien ce qui est personnel, ce qui est vraiment unique. Donc euh, j'essaie de m'appuyer sur ça. Et, et beaucoup, euh, j'aime bien aussi partir dans l'expérimental. Donc ma danse, elle est beaucoup tirée vers, vers ça en fait. In 2018, Solomon was one of the many artists to bring it, participating at Red Bull Dance Your Style. Red Bull Dance Your Style is a battle concept that celebrates dance, music, and performance. It recreates the social party atmosphere and vibe that all the street dance styles came from. It consists of one-on-one -on -one battles in which dances from any street style discipline can enter. In 2019, Red Bull Dance Your Style had more than 65 events in 29 countries. In the USA, Las Vegas is proving to be a dance mecca. Just ask dope American dancer Schizo. As soon as I moved here when I was 17, we started street performing, me and my little brother. Vegas really gave me that platform to uh, step my performance game up when it came to um, dancing. I've only grown as like a performer versus just a dancer on stage. And that's one thing I'm thankful for, for this city, for sure. It's like a study ground for me. It improved my connection with people that don't dance. When you're only satisfying one crowd, then you're limiting the energy of what it could be. And that's why I respect it. Like the way dancer style kind of brought the battle to the scene. Yeah. Japan is another hotbed of talent on the Red Bull Dance Your Style circuit. Mika has been killing it for a while now. She's won numerous competitions and even took the Juste Debout hip-hop title in 2016 with her unique style. My style is rhythm.
South Africa is a stop where street dance is all the rage. Home to dancer Taryn Alberts, aka TNT. There is a different energy and a vibe when you see dancers in South Africa, especially when we're doing our own styles. It's not structured, it's not studio-like, it's street, it's urban, it's free. It's just like feeling what the music is saying, like the flavor, the style, the energy. There is nothing like it. Fellow South African San Juan knows that showmanship is a big part of winning over an audience. I specialize in uh, the visual appeal, yeah, and how you're able to entertain people and like make them question, is it real? How are you doing this? Are you even human? So they like dance and make it look like they're getting electricity through their bodies and just work on those techniques. And that, those techniques take a lot of time. At Rebel Dance, there's style events like the one in South Africa. There's no panel of pro judges like in other dance competitions. Instead, the winner of each battle is decided by a crowd vote. This competition is about performance and dancer showmanship first, ahead of judging on the more technical aspects of a style. Here, dancers are free to really express their personality, individuality, and character. And that's why I like uh, this competition because it, it forces you to present an emotion to the crowd. Like, you're not just up there doing moves, you gotta show them how you really feel. One dancer who knows all about expressing her art with Phil is American popping dancer Angel McNeil. I would say I've been dancing my whole life for sure. It's been involved in my life for as long as I can remember because I have a strong passion for, for music. The more I'm exposed to like certain things, random things like struggle and pain, the more I can see that character e evolving. And sometimes I don't know when that character is gonna come. Sometimes it comes out uh, randomly in battle. Sometimes it comes out randomly in sessions. Obviously never been in a battle where the crowd gets to choose. Cause sometimes I feel like maybe they don't know what they're looking for. But also it's cool because sometimes a lot in dance, there's a lot of political things going on where people are biased. At that point, you just dance because you love to. There's no expectations. I just want to exchange. Like I don't care about winning or losing. At the 2019 Repel Dance Your Style Finals, Angel brought the heat right to the end. It was there she battled a 17-year-old from the Netherlands named Shin Shan. He came out on top, becoming the very first Red Bull Dance Your Style world champion. Thank you, Mom. Hot new talents all over the planet are helping to push dance in fresh and daring new directions. Thanks to social media platforms like Instagram or TikTok, dancing is becoming even more popular. Social media is playing a big part in establishing a new generation of dancers. Young artists like Keita the Great are using the medium to break out in a big way with millions of views on Instagram and TikTok. UK dancer Kieran Lay is another great example of an artist who is using social media to learn the art form and make a name for himself. Social media has actually just changed my life. It really has. I think taking advantage of the social media platforms that are out today has helped me realize what some audiences like prefer and what dancer audiences prefer. With a general public, they want something that's quite easily digestible. With a dancer audience, you have so much intricacies. It has its own culture and it's like, even the idea of concepts can be so deep. Uh, within this dancer audience. And what I've been trying to do is try and kind of like mix the two and being able to know how to cater your skill set to different audiences is such a unique skill to have that I think is overlooked. Born in Essex, England, the 24-year-old All Styles dancer is mainly self-taught and began honing his craft via YouTube videos. I was quite a geeky kid back in the day and I wasn't very physical either. I just wanted to, um, yeah, learn something for myself. And I actually just learned 
how to dance through YouTube videos for a year. And this was way before like you have platforms like Steezy, Building Block, all of these new online dance uh, websites that have just come along because of, you know, Corona and stuff. Um, I didn't have any access to that. So it was just purely YouTube videos where I would watch a video over and over again just to get that move. His skills improved and he began performing and competing. In 2019, Kieran took part in the UK national edition of Red Bull Dance Your Style. Then, in 2020, he won the first ever virtual version of the competition held entirely on TikTok. While social media has definitely benefited Kieran, the worlds of online dance artistry and professional competition still have yet to completely unify. I think social media is like a double-edged sword. As much as it is really great in terms of, you know, pushing unknown people out there, I do feel like it can sometimes dilute the dance um, just because, um, you know, th the most viral dances at the moment are the simplest ones and not the actual dances that, you know, professional dancers have trained all their life for. So I think for the young generation, it's important to like, especially if they have like a big, big following to give back to the community by, you know, collaborating with the OGs of the dance scene, you know, especially if they're open to it as well. Because, you know, mixing with the young generation with the old generation, you know, the tech savviness of the young generation and the knowledge and wisdom that the old generation have together is, I think, the best way for the whole community to grow. So I would love to see, you know, Pop and Pete, the pioneers in locking, house, hip hop, to really like join together and, you know, use social media to help the dance scene grow even more, you know, and in a, in a more beautiful way as well. Word up, Kieran. One love. That's how we advance the art form together. Okay, everybody. I hope you learned something. No doubt, Tony. We've learned about how street dancing took shape in different corners of the USA and became a worldwide phenomenon. Along the way, we met some of the legends that had a major impact on the different disciplines. And fresh new talents who are exploring popping, locking, hip hop, and house in exciting and experimental ways. You gotta travel from emotion to emotion and hopefully people vibe with you. All the hard work and sacrifice that goes into becoming one of the best gets showcased at some of the most amazing street dance competitions in the world. Yeah, I think it is hard, but doesn't stop me from doing what I'm doing. I just go harder. <laughs> Keeping it real is what it's all about. And we hope that we helped you to get to know the world of street dance. See you.